Alright, so we've now created our, um, our walls, our slabs, and our roofs. So now let's create the columns which are going to hold this whole, this whole setup. So what we, what we want to do now is, uh, so first of all, let's turn these slabs off so we can really see what we're doing. Uh, and instead we're going to turn on our sketch to show us where these columns should be. So firstly, um, the columns um, tool is here, so I'm just going to click on the columns tool and then I'm going to choose the type of column that I want. Uh, so it turns out that this is the one that I want. Uh, we can bring it in here and it'll show you what it's going to look like. So that's it. So I'm going to choose um, my top view to start off with. Now here's where it should be. So that looks pretty much the same size as what I've already got there. Now I'm actually going to do a little trick here where I'm going to change my design slightly. So this is development work. Um, instead of having the columns be on the inside of the slab, I'm going to set them on the outside of the slab. And in order to get them to be right in line with exactly where I want them to be, I'm going to change the insertion point of them. Uh, now let's see if I can find where to do that. Um, yeah, so alignment actually is what I want. So I'm going to choose the bottom left as my alignment. That doesn't seem to be right, so let's try bottom right. No. Uh, actually, no, that's, that'll be fine. So I'll choose bottom right uh, as my view. So I'm going to line it up with this. And as I bring it over to here, I click here and then turn it around. Now it's not exactly in the right place now, but that's fine. I can just move it over. And take the column and then just holding down the shift key, it's going to move it over to where I want it to be. Right. So now let's see what we've actually created. Okay, not responding. Okay, so here you can see, uh, here's what we've created with this column. So you can see obviously it's not actually quite right, so it's still hanging in midair, which we don't want, and it's also not extending quite high enough to support the whole slab. So we're going to deal with this first part, with this part here first. I'm going to select the column, I'm going to look at its column properties, I'm going to just adjust it a bit. So the first thing is the height, so by style it says 2.7 meters, 2700 millimeters, so I'm just going to type in the number that I want, which is 2800. And then I click in here, so there, now it's the right height, but it doesn't start quite low enough. So to do, to fix that, I'm now going to go to the location of it. And you'll notice that at the moment, the Z location is zero. I'm going to change that. I'm going to move that down by 300 millimeters. Like that, press enter to make it take, it, take effect. Notice that it's now moved down this area as well, so I'm going to actually add 300 to that, so I'm going to end up with 3100. There we go, so now it's the right height and the right length. So let's see if that's actually done the job for us. So if I just click here and deselect it, so it does in fact go through the, the um, surface of the ground, but I might actually just exaggerate it a little bit more. So again, choose the column co properties. I'm going to move it down 600 mils. So 600 mils. Sorry, minus 600, of course. Minus 600. So now it's Z starts at minus 600. So that's well below where the ground starts. So that's great. Uh, and then obviously I've got to make it another 300 mils longer again. So under the height, that becomes now 3400. There we go. So there's my first column. And what I'm going to do now, basically, is just copy and paste it all the way around. So wherever I need a column, I'm just going to create it like that. Well, actually, I can do that around the lower roof. Obviously, for the higher roof, I need longer columns. I'm just going to copy and paste them anyway, and then see how it goes. So going to my top view. 
take that column and I'm just going to go transform copy. I'm going to copy it, let's say, from the midpoint here, move it over. Now again, you will be using measurements for this, but since I'm in a hurry, I'm just not going to do that. So that's those two, so now I'm going to just copy those, sorry, I'm just going to copy these around several times as well. So. Alright, so I'm back. Um, so I've created my, uh, all of my columns. Uh, it was a little bit um, trickier than I thought. Basically what I did was I just copied and pasted them around. Uh, I used a few mirrors, but essentially just copied and pasted. Um, so here we are. So we've got our, all our columns. Now, when we, when we move to the underneath, underside of um, our model, you notice that here, well, it's a bit difficult to see, but here is a column which is only just sticking through here. It's a little bit short, but I'm just going to live with it. I, I can't be bothered um, changing that. But what I do need to do is change the heights of these ones. Um, so we need to work out exactly what the height of these should be. So again, let's just select them all. It seems to be... Yeah, let's just select these columns here. Now these ones also need to be extra long. Oops, sorry. Selected some that I wasn't supposed to select. And then these ones as well. Holding down the shift key obviously as I'm selecting these. There we go. So there's all the columns that are underneath the second roof. Um, so let's have a look at their column uh, properties uh, and you'll see so there's the insertion point the height of 3400 um, I can't remember exactly what the number was I'm just going to add some and then see how it goes uh, let's see if I make this four meters will that solve my problem that's 14 meters let's see so are they now long enough no not quite I think I have to add another 300 to them There we go. So now all of my columns are the right length. Uh, these ones stick through, obviously. Uh, we might want to change that later on, but for now I'm just going to leave it. Um, those are some details that you can kind of sort out with your model later on. All right, so let's see what we've got so far. We'll turn back the slabs back on. So there is my building as far as it goes um, so far. Um, I'm just going to stop it there for a minute. Um, and you can get up to this level and see where you get to.